Hi, I'm Dr. Robert Dean, part of ARO, and I'm here to talk a little bit about knees, knee pain, and why people have knee replacement surgery. The first and most important thing to understand is that we always want to preserve our natural joint. If we have knee replacement surgery, well, there are reasons for that. And the main reason that people have knee replacement surgery in the U.S. is knee pain. This knee pain is caused by something called chondromalacia. Chondromalacia is a medical term, a diagnosis term used to describe wearing out of that hard cartilage that lives on the edge of the bone, articulating and protecting the bone where the nerves and blood vessels are underneath. When you have chondromalacia, you basically have worn out parts of this hard cartilage and the nerve endings are exposed. When you put pressure on those nerve endings, it causes pain. Pain causes swelling, inflammation inside of the joint. Your knee joint is an encapsulated joint that actually becomes more and more tense as you have swelling and inflammation. That puts more pressure on those nerve endings as well. And this cycle goes on for months and years. The solution is Advil, Motrin, Aleve, cortisone shots, maybe even hyaluronic acid, a lubricant. These solutions have all been band-aids, ways of mitigating the swelling or the pain or the, the actual pressure in the joint. The orthopedic solution to this is joint replacement or knee replacement. Total knee replacement surgery equals cutting out both ends of the bone and replacing it with a titanium and a Teflon hinge. That sounds like a really big jump, and it's something that happens a lot in, in, in medicine. However, it's really the only surgical option to treating that, because as you see with this little red area here, as you wear out these little potholes, these little areas of thin cartilage, and put pressure on those nerve endings, that hurts. Well, surgically, you have two tools, arthroscopy and total joint replacement. That's pretty much it. An arthroscope you poke in there and it's a cutting grinding instrument. So for example, if your meniscus is torn and the meniscus tears flip-flopping and getting stuck and it hurts and you're falling, you put the arthroscope in there, find the tear, and the way surgeons repair those tears is by cutting out the piece that's getting stuck. And voila, you don't have a rock in your shoe. If you have potholes or worn out areas in this hard hyaline cartilage, this Teflon cartilage, well, you can't treat that with a cutting grinding instrument, right? Because it's a hole. So there's nothing you can do arthroscopically to help with chondromalacia or potholes in this hard Teflon cartilage. This cartilage is the same stuff you see on the tip of a chicken bone. If you ever have a piece of chicken, that hard white cartilage, that's hyaline cartilage. And that's what this is. So you essentially have potholes in your hyaline cartilage or potholes in your chicken bone cartilage that is not protecting the nerves as it should be, therefore you put pressure on the nerve endings, you have pain, pain causes the swelling and inflammation. Therefore, pain is bad. It's not just a symptom, it's actually the bottom line, the cause of a lot of the perpetuating pathology in your joint. The surgical option can't be arthroscopy, like I said, because of the potholes. The reason we do total joint is when you cut out the whole joint, you remove the edges where the hyaline cartilage is, that's where the nerve endings are. So if your knee hurts, the only surgical option to fix your knee pain in an orthopedic surgeon's office is to remove those nerve endings surgically and then to put in a new implant so that your joint can function. So it's a really big surgery to treat knee pain. And that's why good surgeons always try all the other options first. However, once you have that surgery, your knee is now changed and you're gonna have a mechanical joint that lasts 10 to 12, maybe 15 years. There are many restrictions to how you can function with that joint. Um, twisting, torquing, if you play tennis, you're not supposed to play tennis when you have a knee replacement. It's in the package implant from the implant company. There are other options though. If your joint is mechanically functioning and you just have chondromalacia, knee pain, in other words, you're not walking with a cane or a walker, you really are just having that nuisance pain or even pain that's requiring medication and steroid shots, well, if that joint is mechanically still functioning, there are other options besides cutting out your joint and putting in an implant. This is what Arrow Motion is all about, and this is what we do here at ARO, and we'd love to talk to you about it.